Something has been hitting the headlines lately. It's big and better, and folks are calling it the James Webb Space Telescope. Well, what is it and what does it do? The James Webb Space Telescope is a massive and intricate magnifying glass in the sky. It is the most powerful and complicated observatory ever created by man, in more technical words. It was named after NASA Administrator James E. Webb, who served from 1961 to 1968 and was a key figure in the Apollo program and was instrumental in its success. Now, this telescope sounds like some futuristic gadget, only that this one is for NASA, which makes it seem scary but trust me, this telescope is more fascinating than you can imagine. Actually, it has attracted a lot of attention even to the king of the rockets, Mr. Elon Musk, who said something really remarkable about it. So, what do you think Elon had to say about this piece of tech? Hello and welcome back to SpaceXNet. In today's video, we take a look at what Elon Musk had to say about the James Webb Telescope. But first, before we go on with today's video, a sub to the channel would be very much appreciated. Comment, share the video, and don't forget to leave a thumbs up for the video. And without further ado, let's get into it. Excited anticipations are building around James Webb Space Telescope and the world's most powerful and most complicated observatory ever built which is just a few steps away from solving the deepest cosmic mysteries. The Webb Telescope, which launched off on December 25, has drawn the attention of many people, including computing prodigy and entrepreneur Elon Musk. Musk reacted to a BBC Twitter post that revealed Webb's plans to look for the end of darkness by calling it a big deal. There are quite some words especially coming from a man who has redefined the travel industry from space to EVs. When you study the story of this telescope, it is absolutely good to say that good things come to those who wait. Astronomers' patience has been severely tested since the JWST was initially scheduled to fly in 2007. Countless setbacks have been caused by a confluence of technical obstacles, political hesitation, and project management flaws. The JWST was threatened with defunding by US legislators in July 2011. Following this, the spacecraft was rescued in November 2011 after a tense few months. The launch of JWST was then postponed yet again in March 2018, owing to spacecraft technical difficulties. In June of that year, an independent review board suggested that the launch be postponed until March 2021. The JSWT's work was hampered in 2020 by the worldwide COVID-19 pandemic, and NASA announced a revised launch date in July 2020, which was October 31, 2021. There were several delays, despite the JWST team's persistence and resolve throughout a tough time. The Ariane 5 launch rocket had issues in June 2021, delaying the mission until November or early December 2021. Later in December, NASA and ESA reported still another delay because the observatory had not yet been delivered from its original location in California to ESA's launch site in Kourou in French Guiana. A new launch date of December 18 had been set by the two agencies, but inclement weather quickly derailed that plan. Later on, Ariane Space's Ariane 5 rocket successfully launched the JWST on December 25, 2021, at 7.20 a.m. Eastern Standard Time from ESA's launch facility in Kourou, French Guiana. For those unfamiliar with this scientific breakthrough, the launch of the Webb Telescope is significant for several reasons. To begin with, the telescope is a partnership between three space agencies, NASA, the European Space Agency or ESA, and the Canadian Space Agency or CSA, and it has now launched after 30 years of development. Not to mention that in addition to a ridiculous period of time, the space agencies have invested about $10 billion in Webb's development. The James Webb Space Telescope was a major undertaking for NASA and the other organizations participating, and it represents a significant accomplishment. Elon Musk is well aware of this, which is why he has disclosed why the Space Telescope is so important to mankind. The James Webb Space Telescope's capabilities are what sets it apart from other telescopes. The telescope was designed to pick up even the tiniest specks of light that may transmit information. As a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, it should be able to see details in photos that were previously indistinct. The stars we can see right now are millions or maybe billions of light years away from us. These light sources will be traced back in time by the telescope, which will be able to look back 13 billion years. The telescope is designed to peer back in time to when the first stars formed. 
is like having a window into the past through a time machine. Scientists will be able to go back in time to a time when the cosmos was still very young thanks to the James Webb Telescope. And a new understanding of the origin of light might be gained. Who knows? We may be able to see the Big Bang on YouTube. It is a well-known truth that there was darkness before the Great Bang. When the first stars blazed, the cosmic darkness was dispelled and the world's formation and evolution began. And how is this relevant? Well, after pointing its 21-foot gold-plated mirrors towards a small region in the sky, the James Webb Space Telescope will seek for the lights that formed from the first stars billions of years ago, according to senior project scientist and Nobel laureate John Mather. This telescope's capabilities appear to be too fantastic to be true. So, how will this telescope accomplish this? The optical telescope element is the telescope's primary mirror. This mirror is what it utilizes to collect the light. Gold beryllium is used to make 18 hexagonal segments in this main mirror. The gold covering on these segments is a thousand times thinner than human hair. James Webb Telescope's primary mirror has a diameter of 21 feet, making it six times larger than Hubble's life-gathering area. The telescope built by NASA is capable of detecting long wavelength visible red light at low frequencies. It has the capability of seeing things that are too far away for the previous Hubble telescope to catch. In a vast cloud of dust, where planetary systems and stars are formed, it can see straight through it. It is intended to look at objects that are beyond the purview of the Hubble telescope. One may even identify the heat signature of an Earth-Moon separation using Webb's telescope, which is so sensitive it can detect a bumblebee's heat signature. If you misplaced a penny, you could see this telescope to identify it from a distance of up to 25 miles away. Temperatures below 50 Kelvin are required for the James Webb Space Telescope. The telescope will be placed at the Lagrange point strategically so that it may view feeble infrared emissions without any inference. About 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth's surface, this is a neutral point in space. Webb's telescope will shelter itself from the Sun, Moon, and Earth with a five-layered kite-shaped shield in this location. As a result of its size, the telescope had to be folded up and transported aboard a rocket, as large as a tennis court and more than three floors high. It is still one of the most difficult space scientific projects ever undertaken. As the telescope travels through space, it must perform a challenging mechanical task of putting itself together. The greatest photographs from this telescope will not be available till after six months, according to scientists. There are a number of procedures that must be completed before the telescope may be used and they range from calibrations and adjustments for Webb's telescope which will have to be performed remotely due to its remote location. To get a deeper understanding of astronomical objects, the Hubble Space Telescope will be replaced by the James Webb Space Telescope. It is expected that both telescopes will work together for a period of time. However, there are more exoplanets that Webb will be able to investigate. It will also use data from other telescopes on the planet. Webb's telescope's mission is to study the universe's early stages following the Big Bang. Galaxies will also be examined using the telescope. We can learn more about the history of the cosmos by studying galaxies. It will study the evolution of one of the first galaxies. Stars are thought to have been born at the creation pillars. Hubble has given us a look but it is hard to see much through the dust and gas clouds that generate the stars. NASA's planet-hunting Kepler Space Telescope discovered many exoplanets that will be seen via Webb's telescope. Images of the atmosphere captured by Webb's telescope will be used by scientists to make predictions about whether or not certain planets are habitable. All of these things sound like they belong in a science fiction film, and we agree with you. Which is why we believe that James Webb Space Telescope is a significant step forward for mankind. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Did you like the video? What do you think about this telescope? Do you think it will be able to solve all of the questions that the scientists are expecting it to solve? Comment below. Let's engage. Also, if you're interested in more videos like this, make sure you like this video, share and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Goodbye and see you in the next video.